Stairway to Heaven Arena never gets old. I love being here in Purgatory. And if you love Full Metal Mayhem, you might just want to spend the rest of your life here in Purgatory. I'd rather take the elevator to hell than spend another minute here. I bet my left nut on their last home game and literally lost half the family jewels in the transaction. Today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams take the field. The Orcs of Hazard battle. The Full Metal Mayhem. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a high-scale old I am a hell of a old fellow. It's game day here on the MFL Network, and we are just about to get underway. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Hi. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, well, mm. and, uh, no, not really. Kind of flatlining right now in the thoughts department. Uh, hey, can you help me get this pencil out of my ear? It's stuck worse than it was the last time. Yeah, you idiot. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And that'll be second and eight to go. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third and four. Great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Second down and nine. Defense gives up five yards on that pass play. Third down and three. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ward and the ex murderer Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped Again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. He picks up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Grim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clowns don't play football? They'd be good. You know, they're all in politics, apparently. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! <laughs> Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. <laughs> and it's 
It's first and ten. was an all-pro NFL hit. In your face, stupid. <laughs> and it's first and ten. First down! I see this guy drop a lot of balls in the past, but I heard the quarterback threaten to throw him a real bomb if he dropped one again. You know, good communication is important. Scrambler. Second down and nine. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm catching like crazy over here. Third down in, and the defense jumps upside. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. Third down and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. down give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off he is deadly in the open field bricks first down and three hot, hot one hot two hot, hot, hot three. and that's just a great run for a touchdown Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. It's first and ten. <laughs> Second down in a very lot. Hit, and the crowd loves it. Huh. I didn't know that was a penalty. Yeah, these rule changes are ruining the game, Grammy. <laughs> Second down, and we've got a pick. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down in a mile. And Briggs, they just made up a whole lot of field in a hurry with that pass play. And I just made up a new name for a sandwich. Third down and long. And a 
Nice pass for a 10-yard gain. It's not a first down in the stat line, but it's a first down in our hearts. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. The return man catches the ball. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite thing. I thought the only tie we'd see would be a noose. Instead, they're in a dead heat. Tie game at the end of one. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Hot. That's about a three-yard pickup. Second down and seven. This guy's a brick shit, and that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. It shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a frog in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. No gain on that play. Second down and ten. Talk about Butterfingers. He should have had that one. Third down and ten. First and ten. And he laterals the ball. Man, these guys. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big port at John in here. We're a freaking fracking accident waiting to happen. And the defense spiked the offensive water with strawberry fields. And now they can taste sound, but can't remember what the... And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? And that'll bring up third and one. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. And that punter gets paid way too much to kick like that. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And the dog thing snags. He got hit by a car and died. I just know that story. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. hot. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass.
And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. And it's first and ten. The defense better look out. The offense called the Beast Boost Dirty Trick. Freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. Yeah, pal. She's going to get him now. They're going to have... <laughs> and it's first and ten. The warning sounds. Only two minutes left in the first half. And it's first and ten. They stump the clock with their first time out, leaving them with two in case they need them. Yeah, just like condoms, hatchets, and wives, huh, Grim? You know, you just summed up why we don't get together outside of work, Bricks. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like... They use their second time out, but they are running out of time. I'm a bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. <laughs> and he just wrestles away. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And that's it. That's the last time out. It's score or die from here out. And it's first and ten. Steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Third down and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on NFL Game Day. Uh, MFL isn't episodic. He is automatic. Nice kick. Boring. Just give him the points and let's move on. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make him pay. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my... First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so confused. 
It's used! It's a touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. with the Brain Scrambler. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. That's a T-yard pass play, and that's not going to get it done. The offense needs to move the ball upfield. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the Halftime Show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Frankenfood you'll have fun trying to identify. We are back for the second half as the teams line up for the kickoff. The coach told his players they'll be strung up on the goalposts if they don't make this a game in the second half. That's how you motivate these pricks. Okay, When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. for the juggler and rushes to kill you know, in some leagues you aren't even allowed to touch the qb in the nfl they have plays just for killing them <laughs> that's what i'm talking about and it's first and ten It's a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. Wow! The quarterback just threw a touchdown. And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like here. That's a bad kick, and it's going to cost them some yards. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five!
And it's first and ten. He could go all the way. A touchdown saving tackle. And coach isn't liking that call. Oh, ho, his head just exploded. They're back up here on first. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. There's a lot of pressure on you when you ref in the NFL. You go through three interviews and they measure you up and down to see if you're a perfect fit. Yeah, for a casket. First down and forever. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. Parts great run and bad defense. Ballsy, stupid, maybe. I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes, but probably stupid. And the defense anticipated a pass there and put an end to the team getting penalized. Needs to go into their dirty tricks and attack the ref. Come on, guys, get with it. Attack him and kill him. Jeez. First and ten, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Ah, the refs certainly take a lot of abuse in this league, Grim. And the fans sure love it. <laughs> They're like a pinata at a Mexican birthday party. <laughs> First down in a mile. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And the defense gave up a lot of yards on that pass play. They'll need to regroup quickly. Third down and the punter is warming up. And they went to the air and came up big. Now this one's going to be tough. I hope he has a good enough leg for this one. I saw him trying one on before the game. He looked okay, I think. Not my type, though. Look. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. And he's 
running like a moose. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last week. I lost so much money on him, not to mention my kneecaps. My loan shark is very anal about collecting my money on time, Graham. And it's first and ten. That would have been a disappointing run. It's even a worse throw. Second down and nine. Oh, and he just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. Third down and, well, good luck. And then Katz will give them a first down. Now, I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And it's first and ten. It's going to shave a few days off his life. And that'll bring up second and one. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. First and ten. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close and he fumbles at bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. And it's first and ten. point attempt the kick is good as expected those are pretty much just guineas the third quarter mercifully ends if this game is as painful to watch as we are to listen to then please accept our apologies this one is just about over I got the thing stuck in my ear again and that's a returnable ball you mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... E e oh, nice hit! And the offense goes into a hurry-up to pick up the pace of the game. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. He dropped it, 
If he does that again, they'll drop him. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And he zings it in there for a nine-yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up third and one. Caught for the first down. First and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. First and four. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. First and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, a man hit jars the ball loose, and it's a fumble. That's what happens when you hurdle and take a hard hit. And that'll bring up second and one. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. First down and nine. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the changes, Gordon, did it? How good can it be? And that'll be second down and four. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brick's match stupsing time. That's why the girls go. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down in a lot. This guy's going to get mugged in the locker room by his team after the game. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry up. Does that mean the defense gets into a. Oh, uh, the strawberry field's dirty trick. As my mentor Hunter used to say, I don't advocate drugs out. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. If they don't pick it, the offense calls their first timeout. I wish teams could call time ins like, nope. We're playing right now. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. He boomed that 
one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And it's first and ten. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. warming up oh what a run there touchdown no one was gonna stop him Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. First and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down! And my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. <laughs> A timeout is called by the cornerback. They have one left. The offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, see that Britz's ex-girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbits. Nicely done for a first down. First down and three. The quarterback burns his last timeout. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. The quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going on site here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. And it's first and ten.
four yards on that one, and he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five yards on that play. Well, I hope the kicker ate his bleedies this morning. Throw up the horns and throw up the W. Full metal made him win. It was total and complete and utter domination. Now, speaking of domination, look at the stilettos on that cheerleader. Ah, uh, I let her walk on my back. I'll tell you what, I'll pay her to do a river dance on your back with golf shoes. And let's go to the MVP to hear him let loose with some verbal diarrhea about just how special he is. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today